I have. I mean, I think my biggest holiday tradition is watching Home Alone like twice a week, three times a week. Um, it's on at least once a day, which is nice. And uh, just kind of getting in the mood, wearing wearing. I have a sweater that Kevin McAllister wears in the movie, one that was made kind of as a replica of the movie. And I just like to kind of dress up as him and run around the house and get the bad guys. I've had I've had some cool Christmases because. My family, a lot of my family is from the UK, obviously. So I've spent many Christmases overseas. I've spent many Christmases in the States. And then it kind of got to a point as I was getting older, not when I was living by myself yet, but there were times when my parents would have to go to the UK to see family and I wouldn't necessarily want to go. So I got to spend some Christmases with friends and stuff, which was cool. I actually spent Christmas with a Jewish family once and we didn't even celebrate Christmas. Um, the Goodmans. Good, I remember that. And, uh, you were somewhere cool. Yeah, we went to Florida. Oh. It's Jewish Christmas. It's summer cool, I guess. Um, we went to Florida. We ate uh, Chinese food on Christmas Day, and um, That's a big thing, isn't it? For well, not for people that don't celebrate. A lot of the Chinese Christmas. restaurants stay open because yeah. they aren't celebrating because yeah. that Christmas either. Um, so that sounds fun. In conclusion, I experienced uh, a a non Christmas, and it was awesome because um, I'm not really religious, so I like I don't celebrate Christmas for. The Christy reasons. I just like giving and being with family and he stuff. He likes getting gifts. And I like being given gifts, yeah. Um, but it was really nice. They were so nice to me, and they they um, they bought me. They, I woke up, and there was a little Christmas tree in my room. That's very nice. And a little gift under it from them. It was very nice. They handled it well. Again, I live in Hawaii, so I'll be there for Christmas as well and, you know, New Year's. And But I've been there before, and every year someone gets a, you know, a Christmas tree and puts it on the beach, and then – and I don't know who does it, but every year I've been there, like, so we'll go there Christmas day and take beer and hang out, sit on the beach. And, you know, Hawaii is a place where, you know, it's Christmas isn't like a huge, like gift giving time. It's more of like just coming together with friends and family, which is really nice. And so I'll be, you know, embracing new friends out and family out there for my Christmas and holidays and maybe drinking some uh, beer under a Christmas tree on the beach. This will be my first Christmas this year, not celebrating at home in Baltimore. I'll be somewhere in the Bahamas on a cruise ship this year. So hopefully Santa finds me down there. Santa. Santa. You have to send a letter up the chimney letting him know where you're going. Well, yeah, he's going to come down the smokestack, I think, from the cruise ship. I mean, he he has cruise (laughs) ships. Is that the same thing? Mm -hmm. He'll get in there some way through the boilers or something. I wonder what the parents tell, like, because there's got to be kids on the cruise ship. They're like, how does Santa find us in the middle of the ocean? He knows. He knows. Yeah, but what are they... That's a tough. I'm one. telling you, man. You you do that. That's why I'm not did, gonna have kids. My mom did this once when we traveled, and I still believed in Santa. And I was like, "How's he gonna know?" And I, she made me. Well, she didn't make me, but she. I wrote a letter with the address of where I was gonna be. Oh. And we put it up the chimney. Really, she just threw it in the fire. <laughs> really, she burned it. <laughs> no, well, because it, it the the heat makes it go up the chimney. It's a cool little trick. It and burned. so, sure enough, it probably burned. But uh, yeah, so but Santa, Santa found you that year. Santa got my Santa got my letter with my new ad, the new address, and and we. I were never did there. that, and I never got any gifts, and I guess that's why that explains it. it. Explains everything. There's, he. I mean, he makes it very clear in the uh, book that the pamphlet that he sends out <laughs> every December <laughs> that if you've changed your address, you have to let him. You know. must RSVP. Look, I'm sick of saying this every year, guys. I warned you <laughs> three weeks in advance. All right, there's nothing we can do now. <laughs> Sweating red. God damn it! <laughs> lots of cookies, cookies in his beard. These What's are your... our holiday stories. So, oh, that's another funny one. Actually, Jesus. speaking of my parents, um, we weren't. Well, we were. Oh, my mom okay. chimney thing. Um, so you know how, like in, in the states, it's always leave out leave out milk and cookies mm-hmm. and and stuff. Well, uh, in my household, we didn't leave milk and cookies for Santa. We left brandy. <laughs> and that's a re- that's a real thing. Is that a British thing? I think it is a British thing, but Sounds still, it makes British. it way more fun now knowing that it was my parents just, parents just getting, drinking it. getting hammered. Yeah. So they're like pouring the brandy for the for Santa, and then they're like, "Great, go to Mom, bed." Mom, you took the whole bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy smells weird. <laughs> that's great. I'm gonna do uh, that this year. So yeah, Santa loves Santa's Santa's drunk flying up there. Sorry, he's got his reindeer driving. He's yeah. just passenger. It's Autopilot. like Uber Uber reindeer. Yeah. That'd be a cool thing. We should. I'm gonna get on the phone with Uber. I get picked up in a sleigh. That's dangerous. It's cold. Whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna good brandy. It. It's good brandy. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Kiss my ass. Kiss his ass. Kiss your ass. Happy holidays. <laughs>